Well, the whole end of the movie, I mean, was the whole reason that the movie exists. You think you know somebody filthier? Watch. It was one shock after another, and how are you going to top that? I thought, what can we do that isn't against the law yet? Something that will really freak people out as a publicity stunt, as a joke. And the topper was, of course, for divine to eat dog shit. John came to me and he said, well, you know, would you do this? I said, oh, sure. Come over here. Well, I thought he was kidding. A year later, he said, OK, now tomorrow you have to eat the dog turd. I thought, oh, this is great. He wasn't kidding. You know? And he said, well, listen, do you want to be famous? Had anybody ever done it? Would he get some attention? John had enough of P.T. Barnum in him to know that. No matter what they said, they were going to say something. And I thought, well, what do I care? You know, I was very young. Pick it up and eat it and crouch down. And you don't think about all these things. And I didn't really think about it until I had to follow that dog around for three hours. I saw people leaving that theater like, It was uh, really the grossest film I'd seen. Brother, it took off. There was a line around the corner for five years. There had been a lot of press that was all about the shit, of course. That seemed to be the main emphasis, and people loved being outraged. First time I've been to it. It's an incredible head thing for people. She ate dog shit. They were able to market the movie. Do you know this queen eats dog shit? Everyone sat in those seats waiting for that scene, which doesn't come till the end. It was done for anarchy, and it worked as anarchy. The word of mouth spread, and then it spread all over the country, as my father later said, yeah, like cancer. 